Hi, my name is Jeff Marlow, and I'm one of the main instructor at Skills. And I do spend lots of time in my kayak, guiding and teaching. And one thing that makes my life much better and safer, it's a lab bag. This is a lab bag. It's like a purse for kayakers. Yes, I carry a purse. A lap bag is a waterproof sack small enough to be comfortably carried in a kayaker's lap or between their thighs. It's the perfect place to stash anything that needs to stay relatively dry, but that you still want to have easy access to. Communication devices, such as radios and cell phones, sunglasses, lip balm, sunscreen, a small repair kit, snacks, or a camera are all natural candidates. A prerequisite is that the bag has a really good watertight seal that will keep any water from gaining entry and soaking the contents. Having said that, when deciding what to store in a lap bag, hope for the best but always be ready for the worst. Water has an amazing way of finding its way into everything, so always consider the possibility of your lap bag flooding and pack accordingly. Weatherproof any essential equipment that you are carrying inside a lap bag by doubling up on waterproofing. Something that is very important when you use a lap bag is never, never put a lap bag that is overstuffed in your kayak or anything to put anything in your kayak that will impede your ability to get out fast out of your kayak in case of any of any capsize. For example, if I put that overstuffed dry bag in my kayak. And if I want to get out while upside down, that would be a big challenge. And I might, be, I might get stuck in my kayak and not be able to do it. While if I use a smaller dry bag, in and out, it's a piece of cake. As well, a lap bag is not, is not just a purse for kayakers. It's also a safety device. And at Skills, we have, we have developed lots of new and innovative rescue techniques that involve a lap bag. There's two types of pedal flow. The rigid foam one and the blow up one. And we'll be using our lap bag instead of these conventional pedal floats for three reasons. You should use your lap bag if your pedal float is defective, you forgot your pedal float at home, or you lost at sea your pedal float. Upon wet exiting, the paddler must retain control of his lap bag, his paddle, and the kayak. By clipping his pigtail into the kayak's perimeter lines, he tethers the boat to him. Next, he securely straps the lap bag to one blade of his paddle. Particular care must be taken at this step in order to ensure that the lap bag will not be able to slip off the paddle. Always make sure you tighten the base one very tight. Why? You want to maintain uh, the, the lap bag on your paddle shaft. For example, if it's too loose here, you're going to lose it. Next, the paddle is inserted under the stern deck rigging to create an outrigger. With a powerful kick, the swimmer propels himself up onto the deck facing the stern. Staying low, he slides his feet into the cockpit and then corkscrews into the seat. Always keep your body low and lean towards the paddle float. Once back in the seat, the paddler gets his spray deck back on. Popping an edge of his spray deck, he slides his bilge pump into the bottom of the boat and pumps out the flooded cockpit. The advantage of the lab bag pedal float rescue is that it is simple and efficient. However, the downside is a possible lack of buoyancy versus traditional pedal float. The buoyancy of your lab bag will depend on the size of your lab bag and the contents in it. The lather rescue is very similar to the stirrup rescue. Usually for the stirrup rescue, we use a climbing rope or a piece of webbing. When you use a lap bag, the carry handle will become where you stepped in. And also, if you have a tool line or a pigtail, 
you can attach it to your lap bag so you don't lose it. With his lap bag tethered to him, the swimmer places a foot into the bag strap handles. By harnessing the buoyancy of his lap bag, the swimmer is able to benefit from a helpful step up to more easily get atop his boat and then back in the cockpit. A stirrup or float bag can be combined with a wide variety of assisted or solo rescues and is ideal whenever a swimmer is struggling to climb back atop their kayak. Hope for the best, be ready for the worst. The counterweight technique is a last resort option because you'll have to flood your lap bag. Consequently, you might compromise the contents in it. So always keep your content in waterproof containers. Rigged as an outrigger, the flooded lap bag serves as a counterweight, dramatically increasing the stability of the kayak when a swimmer remounts from the opposite side. A small amount of air should be left in the bag so that it retains enough buoyancy to prevent it from sinking completely. Again, this is a last resort option. It's a tool in the toolbox and you can use it when the other options have failed. This lap bag rescue is my favorite rescue. It's extremely quick and easy. This technique depends on a working knowledge of how to perform a roll, but benefits from the advantage of increased buoyancy from your lap bag. The swimmer re-enters the capsized kayak and uses the buoyancy of his lap bag for support while he rolls the boat back upright. When re-entering, the swimmer must get his feet on the pedals, his legs under the thigh hooks, and his butt into the seat in order to transfer the power of his hip snap and roll the boat. I just love that rescue about managing your paddle. You can put a paddle underneath your bungees or you can hold it with one hand or if you have a pigtail, you can use it to clip on your paddle so your hand is free. <laughs>